In this video of how it's designed, we are going to explore the fatigue analysis simulation in SOLIDWORKS, doing a basic tutorial with a pressure vessel tank filled with air under pressure. We already did the static analysis. Now we're gonna apply that same load in a fatigue analysis uh, during X number of cycles and we're gonna see the damage. So we already have it set up with, we have the tank geometry, we have our assigned material, A36 steel. We're gonna fix the tank at these bottom footers, selecting these two faces, and then we're gonna have a coarse mesh running curve base for the overall part. Next, we'll have our external load, which is going to be represented in pressure per square inch, 600, by selecting all these outer faces you see outlined in light blue. And we already ran that, resulting in this. So now we're going to take that 600 PSI and we're going to apply it in a fatigue analysis. So we're going to go to new study. We're going to select fatigue. Add a loading event, let's do 100,000 cycles, end of the fifth. And we're gonna do zero based so that basically the load is just applied at the maximum and not in reverse, we'll hit okay. We're gonna select for our SN curve based on ASME carbon steel curves. Log log zero negative one, R negative one, hit apply. And let's see what happens when we run it. All right, so we're getting two results here. We got percent damage and total life. So if we mess around with this a little bit to further interpret the results, you can see there's gonna be damage, complete damage sooner away from the ends towards the thin walls as we would expect the most force and damage to be somewhere in the middle what we can do iso clipping and this is given as a percentage so we'll go i'll we'll just type in 100 percent damage and see where it falls cool little tool just to see at what percentages your damage is at. So after 10 of the fifth cycles, most of the damage will be 25 to 40%. We'll do future videos more in depth on explaining the fatigue results and curves, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just do a quick run through. And then we have the life. This is represented in number of cycles. 
So maximum life cycles are in red. Minimum cycles are in blue. And that's just another way to interpret the total life. This is at 100,000. So most of the geometry um, meets the life number of cycles to our original setting comment below what uh, other fatigue videos you would like to see other examples and any problems you've had with running fatigue analysis in SolidWorks thanks for checking out this quick tutorial on fatigue analysis and subscribe to the channel.